Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So don't forget for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey you guys, so anyways, I want to come on here and finish what I started earlier. YouTube was having all types of issues um, with the live stream and other people were experiencing a lot of lagging and crashing and just all types of mess. So I want to come on here and finish this video because a lot of Latinos jumped in my DM and that's why I wanted to do it with the live stream because I wanted people who spoke Spanish to help me translate some of this stuff because I don't speak Spanish. My language is Yoruba, but you know, I was trying to put this video together for you guys because you guys were asking me to. When I tell you so many damn poppies in my DM, talking about, hey, my me, can you do this story about Ozuna? And I'm like, what's going on with Ozuna? Well, let me go ahead and break this down to y'all. For y'all who don't know who Ozuna is, he is the little cute, you know, Puerto Rican guy. I thought he was Dominican at first, but he's Puerto Rican. And he's done, uh, I believe, two songs with Cardi B. He may have more, but the songs that I know is La Modelo. He also had the song Taki Taki. Taki Taki. I have no idea what the hell that shit means, but he did that song with Cardi B and Selena Gomez, okay? So this is what's going down with Ozuna. So two days ago, um, news broke that Ozuna was caught in a gay porn scandal. And so basically, somebody found him in some gay porn. Um, it was based out of New York or something like that. So this went viral because we all know Ozuna is married. He's a father of two. And he's, you know, allegedly straight, okay? So this caused a lot of controversy. Don Omar, who's another reggaeton artist, I guess he said some derogatory things and people were calling him homophobic. He called him a duck. I guess that's some type of homophobic slur in the Spanish community or Puerto Rican community I don't know so anyhow I went to go google all this stuff to figure out you know what was going on with Ozuna you know what porn was he in and everything else you know for journalistic purposes I couldn't really find the porn because it was hard for me to google and I kept landing on like a lot of Spanish sites and I couldn't understand what was being said because it was in Spanish I even ran into some Dominican YouTubers that were going off they were going in but everything was in Spanish so I really didn't understand what all was going on and then eventually Ozuna came out and he addressed the situation um, he was also talking to a few people back and forth in Spanish. I'm going to go ahead and post what he wrote on his Instagram page. Maybe you guys can translate it for me in the comment section because I have no idea what they're saying. So I'm going to go ahead and post that now. Check this out. Okay, so you guys just saw that. So now Ozuna has come out and he's addressing the situation. And he's basically saying that this porn was put out illegally and that he was a minor when he did that and it was a mistake that he made. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys Ozuna's statement. Go ahead and check this out. So Ozuna says, what happened was a mistake of the past. Like many young people, I made a mistake fueled by ignorance. Today, I'm not only sorry for what happened, but I condemn it. That's why I look for help and I'm certain that everything will be cleared. Likewise, I'm following the process and I'm always willing to collaborate with authorities to prevent the evil that resulted from this big mistake. More importantly, I ask for my family's forgiveness. They are my life's priority and I will continue to fight for them always. So that is what Ozuna had to say about the situation. So he's very apologetic. And so a lot of people are mixed. They're like, you know what? At the end of the day, he's always put out his persona that he was a straight married man. And now we see him in gay porn. From what I've read, because I haven't seen the porn, he wasn't the one engaging in the sex act. Um, but he was in a room with other guys and I guess they were all like, you know, playing with themselves and stuff like that. So a lot of folks were saying, you know what, we have to, you know, you guys can't judge him. He was a minor. He was talked into it. Other people feel like at 16 years old, you know better. You're old enough to know if you're being recorded and you're doing some, you know, pornographic stuff with the room full of men that, you know, you kind of know what you're doing. Well, and at first I kind of felt the same way. Like, you know what, he was a minor, you know, folks need to let this go. But then there was more porn that came out and they're saying that the, the second porn that came out, he was between the ages of 18 and 19. So at that point, one, he's legally of age to do porn. And two, 
you know, if he was still doing it at 18 and 19, even if it was off and on, does that mean that, you know, that's the lifestyle that he wanted or was he just doing it for the money? I don't know. So the whole situation is crazy, but where it gets really crazy is that there's an openly gay trap artist. His name was Kevin Fred, and like I said, he was openly gay, and he was the one who was basically trying to extort Ozuna. So what happened is that he was extorting him. He knew about this tape. He had it. He was threatening to leak it out, right? So Ozuna's lawyer confirmed that they paid Kevin Frett $50,000 to keep his mouth shut and to not leak out the tape. Well, just a few weeks ago, Kevin Frett was killed in Puerto Rico on a motorcycle, okay? Kevin Frett, a popular recording artist from Puerto Rico, was shot and killed in San Juan this week. Fred was regarded as the first openly motorbike early Thursday morning in San Juan's Santorce neighborhood when he was shot eight times. Puerto Rico-based paper El Nuevo Dia reported that Fred was later pronounced dead at a hospital. Eduardo Rodriguez, Fred's manager, confirmed the singer's dead in a statement to Billboard saying, Kevin was an artistic soul, a big-hearted dreamer. Rodriguez added, there are no words that describe the feeling we have and the pain. He still had a lot left to do. Police have not identified a suspect in the death. Kevin Frett was 24 years old. He was riding his motorcycle and he was shot to death. He was shot eight times. So now a lot of people are trying to tie Ozuna to that and they're saying that Ozuna was behind that hit because obviously it was a hit because he was shot that many times. And they're saying that his killing was behind that sex tape with Ozuna. The lawyer and Ozuna's camp are denying it, but I don't know. So this entire situation is definitely crazy. It's definitely messy as hell. I don't think Cardi B has spoken on it yet. Um, I think he's still trying to work a lot of things out. Am I saying that Ozuna is the killer, Kevin? Fred, no, I'm not. I'm just reporting what the media is reporting. But they're saying that you know something happened between the time that the tape was gonna get leaked to Kevin Fred being killed, and then after he was killed, the tape came out. So it's obvious somebody in Kevin's camp thinks that Ozuna might have had something to do with it, hence why the tape is not out. Like I said, if he was a minor, he was coerced into this, then yes, I feel bad for him. If he agreed to do this gay porn, then that's on him. He can't then turn around and play victim, especially being that they're saying that there's other tapes of him when he's 18 and 19 years old doing gay porn as well. I think one of the things that really bother me in this situation is that regardless if he was 16 or 18, that is such a young age for anybody, male or female, gender aside, to get into the porn industry. So it makes me wonder where were his parents and what was he going through that he felt that he had to go down that route, you know, because I have a child that's the same age and I couldn't imagine him having to even feel that he had to go down the route of, you know, selling himself or doing porn, regardless if he was doing straight porn with females or, you know, gay porn with a man. That's not really a normal choice for a young person to have to make. You know, that's a really big extreme. So I really wonder what his home life was like and where his parents were at, you know. But again, you know, in America at 18 years old, you can legally, you know, be a porn star and everything else. If he agreed to be a porn star at a legal adult age of 18, then, you know, he can't then play victim. But if it's a situation where in that particular tape, he was a minor, like I said, I haven't seen the tape, and this guy, Kevin Frett, was trying to extort him, um, um, and that was all the way wrong. And they're also saying that supposedly, allegedly, and I'm also hearing on the streets that allegedly Ozuna and Kevin may have had some type of relationship or some type of fling. And that's when Kevin threatened to expose it. So the rabbit hole definitely goes deep. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on. But hopefully Ozuna will be able to get to the bottom of this. Um, but I don't think that anyone should be extorted and, you know, made to pay somebody $50,000 for a porn tape. And again, if he was over the age of 18, then at that point that's on him. But if he was a minor at the time, that was definitely wrong of Kevin and Kevin's camp to threaten him. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. I don't understand everything that's going on. I don't understand all the nuances because a lot of this stuff is in Spanish. So hopefully my Spanish tea sippers can show up and break it down even more. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.